Hi, I'm Sean, Players Bench Goalie Specialist here at the Denver Superstore in the Bauer slash Maverick training facility, testing out the brand new V5 Vaughn gear. We've got the new uh, V5 Vaughn pads here. Uh, feels pretty good, feels really tight. Um, one of the things that makes a great Vaughn pad is uh, just how they feel overall. Really, really soft boot, really, really flexible, how they feel on the ice and how you move around. Um, I noticed a couple of great things that they changed from the last year, the V4 to the V5, is uh, this actually a uh, landing zone that they put in here. It's more of at a 90 degree angle instead of a little bit more looser like the V4s were. Um, it's definitely got a lot more support in there. Uh, they put HD foam in there to kind of make it a little bit more of a, I guess, a stronghold in terms of your butterfly. Makes you a little bit more solid when you're going down. Um, and then they also incorporated that throughout the entire pad, making this a little bit more flatter so you're a little bit more flush up against the ice. Um, I believe they put lower density foam in here to kind of control your sliding. Um, one of the first things I realized when I put them on, they were a lot tighter than my V4s. Um, the only thing I could say that changed that was maybe a little bit more to the calf wrap, giving you a little bit more support. Um, it still rotates pretty, pretty well. Um, I had no issues when it came down going down in Butterfly. Um, the, uh, the, the one thing I did notice in terms of my stance is I noticed that it's a little bit more of a square pack compared to the V4. It's not as tapered down in the toe, so I had to kind of change that up to get down properly. Um, but I, I noticed a big difference in terms of taking more, more coverage of the net when I was down on the ice. Yeah, another thing I noticed on here was uh, since they incorporated more of an HD foam down here, it is a little bit more thinner of a blocking down here, making it maybe a little bit less resistance to shrinking it down on your legs. So I do know from previous experience with the V4s and the V3s that they will kind of shrink down, pack out a little bit more. Maybe this area kind of gets a little bit more bulgy, especially down here in the boot, because this is where it's really stuck down here. We've got the new V5 glove here, 7800. Um, you first put your hand in there, uh, it's, it's really soft. Uh, one thing I think they uh, kind of incorporate in all their products is a really soft, easy breaking kind of gear. Um, so that was very easy to just kind of put my hand in there and close it. I noticed that they incorporated a lot of the same things that they did in the 7600 to the 7800. Um, got the double T going on, giving you a little bit more space in there. And when it comes to the actual palm inside, it seems like we have a little bit more of a adjustability in here, a little bit more spacing for your fingers. They've added this new strap here to kind of tighten it down a little bit, giving you a little bit more of a custom option in the glove. Um, then this, this little piece of the back end of the cuff here, it's really, really light. It's very, very soft to the touch when you go down and freeze the puck at a 90 degree angle on your wrist. Um, the other thing I noticed is the brake is probably going to be more closer to a 5500 than anything. Uh, it's a little bit more higher on your fingers. It breaks a little, little bit easier, uh, feels pretty good. Um, then they also give you a double T here, um, which I think gives you a little bit more time to uh, actually close that up and catch the puck. Other than that, it's, it's you know pretty much what we expect from Vaughn in terms of a nice, really solid, high volume covering up the neck glove. All right, this is the, uh, the new V5 blocker 7800 that Vaughn has produced. Um, it's a, a really, really soft palm. Uh, this is probably one, in my opinion, one of the most soft, comfortable blockers on the market. Um, as soon as you kind of dive into this, you kind of feel that padding that kind of gives you a little bit more protection in terms of vibration sticks. Uh, they give you a lot of protection around the fingers. Uh, one thing I noticed after breaking it in was it's you kind of have to sweat in it. It will stretch out a little bit and it won't be in your way as much when you're holding the stick. Um, they did or put a new board in here, giving it a little bit more of a stronger, pronounced uh, you know, position in terms of blocking shots in case you get a shot across the crease. Uh, the other thing that they changed from the 7600 to this model is it's more of a solid piece. In the 7600, it was a little bit more tapered here. This is a little bit more of a thicker, solid, a little bit more balanced board. I noticed when taking shots, I actually was a, able to redirect the puck a little bit more easier. Um, the other great thing about Vaughn, which other manufacturers sometimes have, sometimes don't, 
is there is an actual wristband here. This gives you a little bit more support when it's forced on your forearm when you're actually playing the puck using your stick and playing around with it. Another uh, thing that they incorporated into their stock model, which is uh, a vinylist blocker. Um, the 7600 had it, the 7500 had it, um, but they uh, kind of changed gears with the, uh, the idea of what, what they did on the 95 and the 7900 blocker. So it's all completely vinylist. I wouldn't think it takes a little bit more weight, but it makes it a little bit more of a balanced blocker. It feels a lot more solid on your